All right, breaking Tesla news here on Wolf of Dubai, your stock investing channel. And as you know, I'm following Tesla very much. And there's a big, big news came out just a couple of hours or days ago. It says that Tesla bought another battery specialist called Hyber in Canada. And not only that, they are specialized in, uh, especially with the speedy manufacturing of systems, of uh, batteries, very, very interesting, all in this vlog. So make sure to stay tuned. Okay, so Tesla quietly acquired this company in Canada. It seems until, you know, uh, about mid of September, there is uh, some uh, something going on in Canada. So apparently Tesla has listed Hyber as a subsidiary on the 2nd of October, just a couple of days ago. So it's really, really breaking news. And uh, Hyber changed its website to just a one pager on the 16th of September. So this is already a good sign that something happened there. And uh, apparently uh, uh, companies uh, and also uh, news journalists uh, dig out this information. And uh, you know, um, after the recent acquiry of Maxwell, which is another, uh, you know, Californian company that developed next generation electrodes. It's very, very interesting that Tesla now invests into a manufacturing specialist. And uh, if you're looking onto the big picture for Tesla, right? You see a huge um, number of cars they are putting every year. So they, for example, 2017, they put, put up 100,000 cars per year. This is now a number that they are doing every quarter and also other car manufacturers starting to build e-cars. So this means there's huge demand for, you know, uh, electric cars. And the most important thing about electric cars is the battery. You can really compare it to the engine of the old internal combustion engine car um, of the traditional car. So therefore it's very, very important to have a really good and efficient battery and the company that, you know, um, will lead this area. So, you know, the battery that will last the longest, the battery that can fast charge uh, fastest uh, in charging and um, the, 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 the battery which have the longest range and is the most power efficient you know obviously the car has something to do as well but you know the battery is like the hard piece of it and there was some term all before because as you know the gigafactory in Nevada is a cooperation between Panasonic as well as um, Tesla. So they build this, uh, you know, manufacturing of batteries together and all the machines are owned by Panasonic for the manufacturing of batteries. And Elon Musk already said, you know, during the ramp of Model 3 that Panasonic was uh, the reason of shorted, of uh, shortening uh, the power, the, the, the battery supplies. They couldn't keep up with the demand of the Model 3. So you see there is a bottleneck definitely there and you know in China for example they are going now with LG Shem which is you know the LG battery business of uh, LG so uh, they are changing or you know advancing their suppliers chain there but obviously you know they want to have their own battery production and that's why they bought Hibber and let's now have a look what Hibber actually doing. So now obviously we want to know what kind of company is Hyder. So Hyder is a company from Canada, all right? So it was um, uh, founded by Heinz Campbell, who is actually a German Canadian and he founded this company in 1970. And since then they are the leader in precision manufacturing of small cell batteries through a highly mechanism pump injection system. So they have a special way to produce and fastly produce battery cells. And of course, you know, Tesla was very, very engaged with this kind of technology. And you know, there was two, two options, either become a client of this company 
or just acquire them, the IP and so on and so forth and just don't offer it anymore on the market so not all, all uh, car manufacturers can you know um, use this technology. However in the conclusion we will talk more about how this fits in the overall Tesla vertical business integration but let's uh, keep a little bit on, on high bar. So actually they are developed international reputation in the battery industry with market and clients in the North America, Europe, South Korea, Japan, Malaysia and China. Though in a brochure in 2014 they are claiming that China is one of the biggest market for them. Obviously you know all the tech is going there and growing there in, in masses so apparently it was about 50% of the revenue made over there and um, so you know as you know uh, China is very strong in tech as well as e-vehicles the biggest e-vehicle um, market uh, in the world so hyper is a very very interesting thing to invest so let's go into the conclusion here so do you think that high bar was a good investment for tesla i think yes in this uh, opportunity um there is speculation that they bought this company for around 100 million us dollars and uh, actually it's uh, very very interesting that you know tesla keeps its focus on vertical business integration now what this means this means actually that for example they saw that the seats for cars are uh, extremely expensive and the profit margin is quite high so they decided to move and own seed manufacturing inside their own factory so you know they don't have to be dependent on suppliers they don't have to be uh, spending uh, uh, much money on the seats if they're doing it in-house and so on and so forth so actually they're doing this in other areas as well for example they trying to develop their own battery they uh, develop their own insurance because they thought okay there's huge uh, money made there by insurance for tesla cars and we know the best knowledge about tesla cars through our data gathering system of the tesla network or the tesla fleet so as you can see there is like a red line across every single division that they are acquiring or they, they having in-house so i think overall it's a great move also in terms of the competition that they cannot access this tech anymore and uh, it seems be promising as an old company you know it seems to be a very established company so it's it's very interesting what uh, there will be uh, for tesla in this and what they will gain out of it and uh, most probably there will be a uh, tesla battery in, in investor day uh, later this year by the company and I think they will announce all about this company and their tech that they will implement in their batteries they will talk about the future of battery and they also of course will talk about the Maxwell acquisition you know so uh, I'm very very excited uh, I think uh, you should let me know uh, what will happen next and uh, you know you never know what happened next you know so so maybe you should uh, you should subscribe see you tomorrow <laughs>